today on Be Something Wonderful. Manifest anything in anybody here and now. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Big video today. I had so many amazing sessions yesterday with clients that are telling me their stories of transformation. Some over six months, some over two months, some over a year, but all transformations, all due to them already being aware that they're the person that they desire to be in all cases. And then towards the end of the day, I, there was another client who still, who they feel like they're still stuck. They feel like they're still trying to get somewhere. And this is what she said. I feel trapped and stuck. Nothing I do seems to work. Nothing. Then when I do do not, then when I try to do nothing, nothing happens either. So when she does nothing or whatever she does, nothing happens. Whether she does nothing or does something, she said nothing happens. Remember, you don't need to do anything or do nothing. That movement, that doing, is all that, it's an illusion within the current frame of reality, right? That current frame, remember, all frames exist, all potentials, all identities, all scripts. The script is written, creation's finished. Within those lifelines or scripts, there's a current frame that you're, that you're focused in. But if your focus is within the frame and not on what you desire to be, not already being who you desire to be, then you feel trapped or stuck in the frame because you, you're trying to move and change things in the frame. You're trying to change a frame that can't be changed. All that movement, all that doing is why spiritual teachers call that an illusion, right? It's not what it seems. There's no movement in doing. It doesn't go anywhere. It does nothing. All that doing and movement does nothing. It just keeps you focused in a script that is not your choice, it's not preferred, and in a slide or a frame of reality that you no longer desire. Do you see that? I always, it's always here and now. So that's why I said to her, take the challenge now. Manifest anything in anybody here and now because that's the only place it happens. But it's not by trying to change the frame. In other words, change a reality that's already manifested, that's already there. You move to the frame where you're already changed. You move to the reality, to the script, to the film role, where, that, where you're already that changed identity. That's what we're going to talk about today and more. So what do I do? Nothing. There's nothing you can do, or there's nothing you cannot do, if you're trying to not do nothing, while you're aware that you're not already that person you desire to be. Your awareness of being, I am, creates and manifests your entire life experience. There's no other rule. There's no other law. It's law. It's the only rule, the one law, one rule, the law of being, source of all that you desire to experience. The law of being that which you desire to be. I am God. I am the Lord. I am the law. There is no other. That's why it says that in Isaiah. Right? It's powerful. So without being aware that you already are that which you desire to be, you can do nothing. There's nothing you can do. Even when you try to do nothing, even when you try not to do nothing, it does nothing. Because you're not already aware of being it. You're, you're trapped in trying to change that current frame of reality. Right? And, and it keeps you stuck in a script that you didn't choose, that you don't prefer. Right? In John 15, 5, Jesus says it, I am the vine. I am the one and only source of reality of my entire life experience. I am that power. I am all power. I am all reality. I am all knowing. And then he says, you are the branches. In other words, your focus, remember you're playing all the parts here. Your focus and attention, where you put that, is, are the branches. Is it focused on that you're already that person you desire to be? Or is it focused within the current frame, trying to move and do things there where movement and doing is not possible, where change is, you try to make change where change is not possible, as opposed to moving to the frame of your choice, right? He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. You manifest anything in anybody right now. Jesus is saying it. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. In other words, Jesus is saying manifest anything in anybody right now. 
All that you want and desire is already yours and, and within you. Know this and abide in that awareness. He who abides in that awareness of being, he who abides in being aware that they're already that, that they want to be, bears much fruit. In other words, manifests anything in anybody right now. Your focus and tension as source are those branches. Right? Without me, you can do nothing. Jesus goes on to say in John 15, 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. Without me, you can do nothing. Jesus says it here, you can do nothing. There's nothing you can do unless you're already aware of being that person you desire to be. All the doing, all the movement is an illusion that, right? It does nothing. It's not what it seems. In other words, the doing does nothing without the awareness and assumption that you're already that person you desire to be. Very powerful today. So what do I do? No, it's not about that. That's why Jesus, that's why I use that scene from that show, The Chosen, right? That series, that show, they're in the third or fourth season of The Chosen. And I use that scene at the pool of Bethesda. Right, where Jesus says, look at me, look at me. That's not what he asks. He's asking, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be whole? Do you want to be that person you desire to be now, here and now? Do you want to manifest anything in anybody here and now? That's what Jesus was asking there. Do you want to be healed? Do you want to be whole? Do you want to manifest all you want here and now? Then look at me. Look at me. That's not what I asked because he asked the paralyzed man. The paralyzed man was going off on a tangent. Saying, yeah, but they don't let me. Every time I get near the fountain, people walk over me. I just don't know what to do. Whatever I do doesn't seem to work. And when I do nothing, that doesn't seem to work. Who? It's not about the doing. It's about who. And the who is you. Right? All that does nothing for you. It means nothing. Remember, Jesus saying it. It means nothing. So do so do you want to be healed? Jesus says it again. Do you want to be made well? Do you want to be that person you already desire, that you desire to be? Do you want to be that now? Do you want to manifest everything here and now? In other words, do you want fulfillment now? Do you, what do you want? Be it now. Put your awareness in already being that which you desire to be. It's not about what you need to do. It's about who and the who is you. So Jesus says to him, so let's go. Get up. Pick up your mat and walk. Just do it. Be that person you want to be now. Manifest anybody, anything now. It's all here and now. <laughs> so, in other words, give time, space, and attention to already being that which you desire to be versus what you believe you need to do to be it. All that doing does nothing. Jesus said it in that scene in The Chosen. It means nothing. Right? There's nothing to do with the people, places, and processes. Fine, do the processes, but remember, you're the awareness behind them, like I said. Right? But don't expect them, the next process or the next affirmation, to do it for you. You do it. Look at me, meaning look at yourself, and then do the processes, and then revel in the people and places in 3D reality. But they're not going to do anything. The doing in action is an illusion. That keeps you trapped in and focused on the current frame and script that you can't change. And I'm going to show this to you in a minute in some visuals. Right? You can't change that. Creation's finished. The script is written. As, the, as Neville Goddard says, the creation's finished. A Course in Miracles says the script is written. All frames, all realities, all lifelines, all film roles, all scripts, all possibilities exist. But your focus on doing keeps your awareness on trying to make changes where change is not possible. The script is written, creation's finished. So that's why you feel trapped and stuck. Remember, the blue represents your current frame. The black represents what you would consider the past frame. As you put your awareness on, as you shift your awareness, that frame appears to retreat to the past, but it exists here and now. And as you shift forward, it, you put it, it, the future frame is that violet, and the current frame is your present. These are your lifelines or film roles, right? Or alternative parallel realities, all existing in that eternity film archive of infinity, of all that is, right? All frozen frames of light or potential. They're all light, they're all consciousness, but they're frozen until you put your awareness on it, to put your, to, to put, you put your light on it. 
right? But you're here trying to make a change here. And it keeps you in this script that you didn't choose, that you don't prefer. And you're trying to make movement and do things here. There's nothing to do there. Focus on being that person you want to be and you will move. You will shift. But it's not a physical movement, it's shift in awareness, right? All the frozen frames of light of potential that make up any specific film role, lifeline, parallel alternative reality, or linear experience exist here and now in the eternity film archive, eternity, all that is. You're not moving and doing through time. Hear this, hear this. You're not moving and doing through time and space. Rather, you're perceiving and projecting time and space. You're projecting that linear experience, that experience of movement and change in doing, right? So that creates the illusion or the experience of time, space, movement, change, and doing. Do you hear it? That's big. I hope you got that. So, so here you are. Here's the possibilities. You don't need, remember, that I am awareness, it's vertical. We're having that horizontal experience, but and here you are at the center of it all, believing that that frame is, is entrapment. <laughs> believing you're trapped or stuck. You're not stuck. You're in the vertical, right? But when you try to make changes here in the frame, when you're trying to do move in the frame and trying to make change where change is impossible as opposed to lighting up that future and moving wherever you want in that awareness, of being, that's when you feel stuck. All the moving and doing within the current frame does nothing. That's what Jesus says. It means nothing. You're trying to change a frame and a script that has already been written. These have been written. You just got to move to the one that you want to live, that you want to experience, versus shifting to the frame where you already are that which you desire to be. All feelings of exhaustion, stuckness, and being trapped come from trying to move and make change where movement and change is impossible. That frame exists and will always exist, right? But as you move within, that center changes, that linear experience changes, you change. You're no longer trying to change, feeling trapped and trying to move and, and, and do things or not do things within the frame. You're focused on already being that person you desire to be. That's big. Stop trying to move, do, and make things happen and move in awareness to being the identity and version of you where it's already happening, happened, and will happen. It's all here and now. How? Yo, I get it. How? By assuming fulfillment now, no matter what. By imagining and affirming you are already that person you desire to be here and now. By already being that person that already has those things that you want to have, that already is that person you want to be. Do that. Imagine it, affirm it, light it up. Any process is okay because you're the process. It's not the process, it's, it's about who and the who is you. Then infinity, that alternative space as Vadim Zeeland and Reality Transurfing calls it. Then you move within and as infinity to your desired film role, to your desired script, to your alternative parallel reality right now, here and now, instantly. That's why we're talking about manifesting anything and anybody here and now. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen for joining our TikTok at Be Something Wonderful, for being part of our membership channel. The memberships are growing. We're getting more people interested in the content on that channel and the live streams. We have another live stream a week from tomorrow on the 28th of January at 9 a.m. in the morning, Pacific Coast Standard Time. I'm going to come to you live. It's a live event exclusively on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. I'm going to be answering your questions that you've been sending to info at besomethingwonderful.com. Another video is getting queued up for that channel. We just released three over the last two weeks. A lot's happening. Guys, with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude, this is Tom Karen with the, in the studios here of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.